Okay, can you see me? Let's take some shots of the moon. Jerry, we're going to take some shots of the moon with high revs. Hang on a sec. There I am. How are you going? We're going to use high res with the 100 to 400. And we're going to take a full moon. Well, it's almost full. A little bit hanging off the end. I don't know what the hell that is. A crescent or a gibbon or a funky gibbon or something. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm at home. What the hell do I need this for? I was trying to be smart and pretend I was a astrophotographer. So what we'll do, got my bazooka pointing at the moon over there. That's a nice shot actually. <laughs> Should take a shot like that. Now for these kind of shots you don't even need a tripod, but you will need a tripod for high res because the slightest shake will stuff you up but for a normal shot of the moon you don't need it what you want to do is you want to first go into spot metering and put it on spot metering you can put it in aperture priority if you want uh, it doesn't really matter and you want to spot meter the moon because it's like a really bright the moon you want to go up to say f11 or f13 or even f8 that's a f9 it's like a sweet spot because it doesn't really matter because you're going to change the exposure compensation after you've done spot metering bloody keeps moving is you want to drop the uh, exposure compensation and jerry's howling at the moon say minus 2.3 and of course the beauty of mirrorless, you can see what you're doing right in front of you. So it's pretty bloody easy actually. Two second delay. It's a bit hazy today actually. And I've just... Let's try high res mode now. In the menu you go to the shutter selection. We'll focus in the middle, put the spot metering in the middle, get it to where you want, around there, looks good, minus, just go minus one stop, get a high res shot, click in there, and then here, you want it to be on, and you want how many seconds, I want to go as many as I can, eight seconds I reckon, focus, now, it blacks the screen out for some stupid reason and then you'll see a, an image there and then it does busy, it does all its computation, calculation uh, in the matrix there and out pops Neo with a full high res moonshot. That's it. Jerry. Jerry, I got the moonshot in high res. You want to go howl at the moon? If you want to film it, put it in movie mode uh, and then move it to manual in movie mode at around F8 at around 1 500 speed. Uh, I'll always put ISO 200, same as in the picture mode when you want to take photos and you get some nice footage, like video footage of it. Uh, I've got it on a real nice new, real sturdy tripod and even then it's still shaking a bit because there's a bit of wind here. So, because I'm at 400 millimeters, it's so shaky at the other, you know, when you're at that far zoomed in. Uh, even me talking, I think it. <laughs> but anyway, there, that's just a bit of footage, a bit of movie footage. And you can play around with it, I guess. You can move the uh, aperture a bit higher, put the aperture a bit lower, make it brighter, increase the shutter speed make it darker, decrease the shutter speed to make it lighter because the, like I said before the beauty of mirrorless it's right in front of you you can see it happen in front of you you don't have to guess or measure or shit like that Jerry look come here so like I said you can do it with your hand it doesn't really matter um, because the moon's bright enough as it is so you don't really need to um, you don't have to muck around with tripods 
you can just do it handheld because remember the moon's really bright it's like the sun yeah well it's reflecting the sun so I reckon around f9 is a nice sweet spot when you get a big lens you know 800 millimeters you know that's where that's when you think oh that's awesome I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is f photograph the moon and then after about five shots you're like oh yeah <laughs> that's uh, that's probably why people get into astrophotography you know they want to go and do more with that but it's fun because you know you can really get up close and with the pro res even better Silvery moon. 